Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Smells Like. I'm Josh. So good to see you. And today I just have a quick first impression on the newest release from the House of Hermes. Uh, it's Terre d'Hermes Eau Intense Vetiver. And uh, I'm a huge fan of the entire Terre d'Hermes line. Uh, I have the EBT. I have the uh, Eau Très Fresh version. I am about maybe getting the pure parfum um, and I just today was able to uh, put on uh, and sample grabbed a couple of samples of it as well and I'm wearing have been wearing for about the last hour or so the new Eau Intense Fetty Bear so this one is all about uh, bergamot vetiver and pepper and um, to me it has a big dose of vetiver you know, this is, if you're a vetiver lover, you're going to love this one. If you're not a big fan of vetiver, you're not going to like this one. I feel like it has a different kind of vetiver than like the original tear. Um, I've seen a lot of people say that this kind of is the same thing or it's redundant or whatever is the other tear. I disagree with that totally. I don't think this smells at all like the original tear d'Hermes or any from the line because this uses a really grassy, slightly earthy, slightly rooty, slightly dark but very green vetiver um you know the type of vetiver that you would smell in things like Guerlain's vetiver um you know this doesn't smell like Guerlain's vetiver but it has the similar green earthy vetiver um fragrances like you know tom ford's gray vetiver has a little bit of that like green slightly earthy vetiver um you know it's very crisp um it's slightly dark it actually reminds me a little bit of Ancre Noir it's not nearly as dark as Ancre Noir but it's that kind of vetiver that really has a lot of character to it it's got a little bit of darkness in it um, this one's a little brighter a little lighter than you know something like Ancre Noir um, it doesn't quite go as dark as that um, but that coupled with the fact I think there's also quite a bit of iso e super and aroma chemical that has like a cedary uh, woody uh, type of effect I think there's a lot of bit of, a lot of that in this um, that mixed with the vetiver is kind of what reminds me of on crane works that has vetiver and iso e super in it and this is an interesting bergamot it's not like any bergamot I've smelled before it's got depth to it it doesn't just shine real bright and juicy and then go away after a few minutes i've had this on for over an hour now and that bergamot note is still really shining um you know it's really quite present still and there's probably some other citruses in here as well like maybe like a grapefruit um maybe some orange because it does have a little bit of that like dirty orange vibe that the other um Terdermes fragrances have uh, but this one is a lot brighter uh, it's not as dirty it, it, it's it's dirty in a different way it's 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 more like um, the vetiver mixing with that gives it just a little bit of a of a grit uh, but not that earthiness in the same way as the original Terdermes I feel like um, that doesn't really make sense but <laughs> it's like it and it's not like it I think that this kind of goes its own way while maintaining Kind of the original uh, vibe of, of Terre d'Hermes, but I think it's a worthy uh, release. I think it's an interesting release. Um, Christine Nagel is the uh, current in-house premier for Hermes. She's fairly new. Uh, she took over after Jean-Claude Elena, master perfumer for Hermes for years. Uh, he created all of the other fragrances from the Terre d'Hermes line, and so I feel like she kind of kept that uh, you know, DNA, she kept kept the overall feel of Hermes and of the line, but she didn't just copy what Jean-Claude Elena would do. She made her own, and I think she's doing a good job of that. This is just straight green vetiver with this, the pepper, Szechuan pepper, and this really interesting bergamot. I don't know what they did with that bergamot to make it a little different, but it it is safe. It is something that we've smelled before in the way of just a citrus and vetiver type scent, but it has a little something that makes it unique, just slightly, you know, it, it's not the most unique thing I've ever smelled, but I really like it. I feel like it has a darkness in it that is going to make it not just some warm weather citrus fragrance. There's a, there's a rootiness, a darkness and earthiness in this that I think is going to make it for 
great for fall. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to be getting a bottle of this one anytime soon. Uh, but I do, I do like it. Uh, I actually had been planning on getting a bottle of the Pure Parfum to kind of complete my Teradermis collection, and then they added this. So I think I'll probably go ahead and get the Pure Parfum because I think, you know, it's worth having. I want to have the whole line, and then maybe after that, I'll go ahead and grab a bottle of this. But I don't know. It's not bad. Uh, like I said, you're going to have to like you're probably gonna have to love vetiver actually in this case um, because it's all about that vetiver uh, the you know the pepper and the bergamot kind of make it interesting give it some zing some you know pepperiness it really it's just it smells like a peppery uh, citrus vetiver and it's simple in that way but it is fairly elegant uh, I really think it smells classy it does really smell high-end it smells like an Hermes perfume um, and, you know, I am a big fan of Hermes perfumes, so, you know, this one, if not soon at some point, will probably be making its way uh, to my collection. So, uh, let me know if you've tried this one uh, in the comments. What are your thoughts on this? You know, some people have said this just kind of smells like the other Terre Hermes, you know, that there's plenty of vetiver in the EDT, uh, but... I gotta disagree with that. I don't think that it smells like the same vetiver at all from the EDT, but that's just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments below. If you'd like to do this again sometime, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. See you again right here on the Smells Like Fragrance channel for another video. Thanks so much for watching.